grab your foxy mama and head to the light up dance floor and boogie down as we put 70s song against 70s song. Welcome to Elimination Season 3. So I am your host, Bob, of Elimination. Welcome to 2022. Um, unless you're listening to this in 2026, then welcome to 2026, I suppose. Um, uh, I am Bob, your host of Elimination. I'm here with my dad, Dave. Hello. There he is. And uh, we're starting the year off a bit different today. Yeah. Cousin Pauline's not here. Brother Michael's not here. But nephew Freddie is. Yeah, how would you do? Know? <laughs> hey. Nephew Freddy, ne- my nephew, yeah. not yours. My oh, nephew, yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah. your grandson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's Michael's son. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, Freddie Michaelson. That's what yeah. you call him, Freddie Michaelson. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, so, are you, Fred? Welcome, welcome, well. welcome to the studio. Yeah, this is you nice to be you here so again. far. Uh, it's going all right, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a, um, a New Year's resolution kind of guy? Uh, kind of. I'm like the new year, new me. Oh, you hello. Know? I'm gonna. Change is that why you're wearing a dress for the better? Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> um, are you, what about you, Dave? New Year's resolution? Oh, I've got to lose some weight, man. You're, I said uh, that last year, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, we'll rewind to that episode. Uh, yeah, uh, how's, it, how's it going? I blame Christopher's wedding, I was doing all right up till then. Oh, Pauline's brother, Chris, and then yeah, it all went up in the air. Just went back to where I was, get back JoJo. Well, I've suggested that we should do a January plank challenge, a plank challenge. Where you mm. plank, because I did it, I was missing you, and I? I, yeah. I started it, um, but then I got really ill, and I got I got quite so good. Did it make, is that what made you ill? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Exercise is bad for yeah, you, they say actually. that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you plank day one, January the 1st, you plank for as long as you can. Explain what planking is again. So if you think of yourself in a push-up, uh, an extended push-up, so you've pushed up, yeah. but you're like that, but you're on your elbows. Okay, Ooh, so you're on your elbows, and it's like a you're you're like a what angle is that, Fred? About a forty five degree or thirty five. Yeah, so you're on the your feet are on the floor, but you're on your elbows, and you're straight like a plank. Yeah, hello, um, and you hold that pose for as long as you can. Day one, and then day two, you try and beat that time, and so on and so what forth. What's that gonna do? I'm telling you, you do you feel a difference? You definitely feel a difference yeah. in your core. In your core and in your arms and shoulders, especially in the uh, like stomach bit, like your. Uh, well, I've got a dodgy left arm though. Well, I've got weak wrists, so I can't do push-ups. Okay, I, I, I can do. I'm quite good at them. planks. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's no weight to you, is you? Imagine doing it with his weight all over you. Yeah, yeah do it with me on your back. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Easy. Easy. We're going in it. Give it a go. Yeah, January first. All right. We'll do a plank, and we'll do it for as long as we can. And and I'm not. You're thinking, oh, three minutes maybe. No, you'll do it seconds. It'll be seconds. All right. I'll probably do. A I minute. didn't say anything. I didn't I'll probably you. do twenty minutes day one. But yeah, whatever. I'll do about like forty. Yeah. But by the end of it, day day what? How many days in January? Thirty one. Thirty one. So the thirty first day, you'll think. What's the most important day in January? Oh uh, well, Fred. Fred. The eleventh. Why? Why? Because <laughs> it's a uh, granddad's birthday. <laughs> Oh, it's it's fourteenth, isn't it? And it's, oh, oh, it's higher, 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 higher. Oh, higher. Oh, I don't even. I, I'm I'm gonna get it wrong again. Go on. Nineteenth. Uh, Lower. Eighteenth. Ding ding ding. I knew it was. I knew it was had. I knew it was January. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew it had a, had a foot at the end. Yeah, a foot. I, yeah. Um. Yeah. So, how old are you gonna be, Dave? Sixty-eight. Oh, it's a good year. <laughs> Nearing me peak. <laughs> <laughs> well, end of January, planking, you might. Yeah, you might yeah, be. True, true. Um, so we know what we're here for, don't we? Yeah. We obviously, I'm just going to explain, because um, we Paul, have... Pauline couldn't be here because Lewis has got COVID. Yeah, yeah. And she's, she's got to like, isolate, isolate with yeah. him. So, um, so Freddie's here. We, we, we did the draw prior to this and we sent the songs to Freddie. Because so he's he, only 13. Yeah, he was... Yeah. He was minus um, 38 in 1970, whatever. Good maths, I think. That's probably wrong, though. But yeah, it's wait, definitely wait, wrong. Wait, 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 wait. I, it's real. Yeah. yeah. I, I said it confidently. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, that's it. It's believable. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. 
So he's had a little listen. He's had a little yeah. listen. So do you want to explain what the draw is, Dave? It's uh, Imagine by John Lennon versus Oliver's Army by Elvis Costello and the Attractions. So let's go over to our youngest uh, member of the table today. Um, what was your thought listening to these two tracks? Um, the Oliver's Army one had like a quite a nice little... You know, you could have like a bit of a head bop and... Uh, do you want to give us a rendition? Uh, I can't... I, I don't know most of the words, though. That's the one I'm... Do you want to do the tune or...? Uh, you can... Go on, then. I don't know. I, I'm, oh. not, I'm not good with memory of songs, but... Uh, with the uh, Imagine by John Lennon, I thought it was quite nice, smooth in. Like, it felt like a song you do, like at a wedding. Like, if you're like, your, your bride or something. It probably... Well, like... It definitely doesn't mean the same, though, but it's like a, you can do it with your bride and... that's what well, like a, What, like a first dance kind of mm, thing? Yeah. Like a slow one? Yeah. I don't think many people have had it as a first dance. Well, no, because... Uh... Yeah, let, we'll get on to that. Yeah, it, def- it doesn't... <laughs> it's got yeah. a dark, yeah, yeah. undertone. Um, but, but for, for me... the line, imagine, no, imagine there's no women... Imagine there's no women. See if you try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, they're all but, uh, in hell but... below us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times. But they were my first thoughts of the song, though. Of that, imagine. Did you? Was there a point where you was listening to it? Think, well, I think I've got the got this song now. I don't, yeah. I don't need to listen to the I rest of it. I think the first like. One minute and a half, it got a bit like a oh, bit. Which one? Which one? Uh, imagine it got a bit repetitive. I feel like it was a bit slow paced, and like the lines got a bit. They, I feel like they was he was copying them quite a bit. But when you listen to him properly, you do realize he doesn't. It's just like the. Did you actually listen to the words? Yeah, I put like a lyric video up. Do you know what he's singing about then? Do you want to? Yeah, explain? it's about What's like the song about. Apparently, it's up uh, like war and like grief and horror. And stuff like as I forgot the war. It was Azerbaijan or no, not Azerbaijan, Afghanistan. People in the war then, I think. Yeah. Do you want to rectify that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I've definitely I got, it got a wrong. clue what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, no, I, my my take on it is the fact that he's saying that if you forget everything that you fight for up against, like my, if I believed in one religion and somebody else um, believes in a different religion and we fight each other for it to say mine's better than yours, if you take religion away, we could be friends. And that's that. Oh, religion started nearly every war. I know, but religion, I mean, even nowadays with football teams, people fight at football matches, pathetic. Um, and, and yeah, no wars, no, yeah, that, I think that's what he's saying. If we all just chill out a bit, we can all be mates. Yeah. Mm. That's a good message. It is really. a good message, yeah. Yeah. I, I like that message. Can I tell you a thing about it? Apparently he got a, uh, a piano. It was spray-painted white, and he, uh, I think his wife gave it to him. And uh, he wrote the song the first time, and that was it. The first session he was in, recording it, he that was it. He didn't have any seconds. Second oh, so, tries. No seconds. Yeah, you know, <laughs> um, but first try, he done it. And he, one take. Yeah, he was happy with it. Well, there's, there's. Well, you mentioned his his wife there, Yoko Ono. Mm. Um, now, it doesn't she take sort of credit for it? In well, that's a recent thing in the last year or so, isn't it? That um, she's sort of taken half the credit for it. Um, yeah, not many people like. I'm her, not convinced. She's, uh, she's yeah, she's she gets blamed for the breakup of the Beatles, didn't she? Yeah, a lot well, of that's been taken away since that um, program came on, though, isn't it? Yeah, because she just sat there. Did nothing. Apart from when she started screeching. Jesus. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, it, it's, it, I think it was to do with a book she wrote. And when you read the, the like a kid's book, wasn't it? And uh, the, the, the words in the book are very similar. They're kind of imagine this, 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 imagine this, this, this. And he saw it and took, turned it into a song. So now she's saying that I own the rights because it was my idea. But it wasn't because she didn't play the piano. She didn't sing the song she didn't come up mm. with the the it was just you every idea comes from somewhere if i'm writing a script and i've just watched the in between us nine times out of ten it's going to have a little tinge of in between us comedy in it you know and that that's that's how any idea is you see a film and you think like a young person like you fred would watch a film and think oh that's great that's original and then we would watch it and say well there was a film exactly the same yeah, as that in the mean, 80s, you know musically he was a giant and musically she was in a net so i mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean to be honest. through the math 
Yeah. <laughs> he would have been what he was without her. I mean, she actually... I'm not a big fan of hers, actually. <laughs> I don't think many people but are. I, 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 I think his life would have been a lot different, sort of 67, 66 onwards, if he had never met her. And I think it would have been for the better myself. Wow. The, the, 1960, the 1963 John Lennon, you know, rattle your jury. If he could have seen himself in 1969, I think he would have had a canary fit. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's just my opinion. Some people think she's great. Um, well, I don't know. well um, so, yeah, I mean, we, we've uh, we've discussed the Beatles to death, probably, yeah. but you can always, there's always more new stuff. Um, so you, you knew he was part of the Beatles, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, so what about Oliver's Army? What was the, uh, what was the consensus? Uh, I, I enjoyed it. It was like a, a good song, you know, could dance with your mates or something. I feel like that's what they'd done like, back in the day. And um, I feel like it was quite a fun, it's a good song, fun, cheery song compared to John Lennon's one. But it's oh, the very opposite. Yeah, it? it's a complete opposite. Uh, but yeah, I think Oliver's Army, it was a good, it was nice. It was a good little bop to it as well. Yeah, okay. But yeah. Oliver's Army is a more serious song than Imagine. Because that's all about war, isn't it? Mm. I think Oliver is Oliver Cromwell. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean. It's very dark. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's got this cracking beat and yeah. tune. Yeah, I think I think that that is that sometimes is the case when you like it's like um, songs take on their own kind of um, idea. Like um, we we said before, uh, what's the police one where people have it planned at their wedding and it turns out it's about a stalker. Oh yeah, every breath you take. Yeah, and when you actually find out that it's about a stalker, it, it makes so much sense. Oh, do you know that police song rocks there? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah I, I i find that a lot of the police songs um are just repetitive they just repeat the same thing over yeah. and over again don't stand so close to me yeah and uh magic miss miss miss, miss the bottle magic yeah what's what's the magic one it's a kind of magic oh that's, no, that's queen, queen. Uh, <laughs> yeah i don't know oh uh, yeah, yeah yeah but the, that again that's repetitive Every little um, thing she does is magic. Yeah, that's Every right. Every little thing she does is magic. Yeah. And they wrote that and thought, let's just repeat it for two and a half minutes. Brilliant. Uh, yeah. So what um, I wanted to ask you, Fred, about um, modern music, because obviously mm. I, I ain't got a clue what's going on in the world. <laughs> Do you know what's going on, Fred? Fred, what's happening in the charts and things these days? I don't know. It's a, it's a big mix, but it's definitely like, um, I feel like nowadays it's definitely, it's kind of got the same idea of it for being trying big mostly with because when i listen to old songs like songs you would use like listen to back in your day there was no swearing was there it was complete like you'd, you'd rarely little. yeah you'd rarely hear them and it's the same like today you'd there'd be a few but it would still i feel like the less swear words because you could get in trouble for a lot nowadays if you like same like maybe on youtube or other like uh, social uh, thingies you can still um get in trouble for a lot of it because you know children's listen to it all the time like on the radio if you hear like a swear word, the parents aren't going to be happy. In like, yeah. they'll they'll try something censorship and all yeah. that. But yeah, but yeah, I feel like it's definitely cheery songs get up there most likely. I think that's sad or so. To give us an example. What what artist do, do you listen to sort of now? Um, the, I don't listen to one exactly, but one that does chart highly. Uh, his name's KSI. He does like a mix of songs. What's he, his name? KSI. KSI. Yeah, his real name's like Olatunji. I, 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 oh, okay, I don't know how right, to pronounce yeah, it. But a long name. Yeah, but he's um he has a complete mix. He's got one where it's like holiday and it's talking about like happiness, and then he's got one like a, like a rap one maybe. It's, he's got a good mix, and he's that's why he's always charting high because he's got people from a different maybe he like covers group. a lot of yeah he uh, covers genres. a lot of yeah. So someone who likes one genre, they'll be like oh they like that, and then like more it will be he covers multiple genres which attracts a lot of people, which is quite a smart idea. Yeah. Yeah, it is being uh, oh, look, kind of like us, elimination. Yeah, well, well, elimination. <laughs> I know it's number one at the moment. I think. Do you? The Elton John Ed Sheeran thing. I don't know. I've I have no idea. Boring I don't check the charts. This is boring, all, uh, we was through the uh, Raw Variety for a laugh, didn't we? Well, which is absolutely cool. pants. But yeah. that was on, and uh, it was awful. Actually, Elvis Costello was on it. Yeah, that's right. He yeah. done pump it up, which has got a good version, actually. <laughs> and then Rod Stewart turned up, oh, didn't he? Oh, my God, he was awful. 
not as awful as I thought he was going to be because I read he was. That's what made me watch it because they said how awful he was. But the song he'd done was a nothing song. He had just done one song and he was off. Yeah, that was it. For a big name like him, you think he would have done, well, Elvis Costello done too. So he done uh, Pump It Up. Mind you, he might have done more, but the edit for telly, they might no, have cut him down. I don't down. think so. Well, it was on for a long time. Well, exactly, they've got a lot to fit in. Yeah. You don't watch that, do you, Fred? Actually, Bill Bailey was quite good, wasn't he? he he's all right. I don't, don't really find him funny as a comedian. No, uh, but, but I like the music. On the panel shows, does. I like him, but not on stage, like, kind no. of. He does mad things with music and horns and bells. Oh, well, that's stuff. quite good, what he done with the rock, the rocking... Um, he had, like, the choir there, didn't he? And he'd done, like, the carols, but rocked them up with the yeah. electric guitar. I thought that was quite good. Yeah, he puts a slant on it, doesn't he? Um, so, how was your Christmas, Fred? Hey, I've got another oh, question oh, asking oh, about music. Oh, what about the, uh, not so much the uh, American rappers and all that, Fred, what about, um, like, pop music now, like Ed Sheeran and Taylor Swift and that sort of thing, Adele, do you like any of them? I'm a big fan of Ed Sheeran. I like his songs, especially like the old ones, like in that 2017, around that bit. But <laughs> <laughs> well, you mean the album, the the Orange album? Yeah, the, and the one with the, like the the divide sign. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when he's like first popped off. A team. Yeah, and things like that. I I enjoyed it. I'm not a big fan of. I mean, Adele's music it's really good, but it's just not it's not my alley. She can sing. Definitely. She yeah, she's very talented, but it's just like my type of. I wouldn't yeah. listen to it. She's a personally. housewife's favourite, isn't she? But yeah. Little Mix. Do you like Little Mix? No, I mean... I've, up for a pick and mix. <laughs> I've, barely, <laughs> I've not heard many of their songs, but they're just not the same thing, not my genre. What about what about bands? Are there any bands at the moment? Like people playing guitar I mean, and drums and... The only one I remember was like, you know, the one Kate used to listen to, Panic at the Disco, something like that. That's, oh, yeah, she that's went the to only, see them, didn't she? They're yeah. the only ones that I know are popular. There's not many people... Most people do it solo All there is now. is the old band, like Coldplay. Coldplay have been around for 20 years, I know. Yeah, it's madness, isn't it? Yeah, it's because... High Flying Birds, you too. that sort of stuff. It's all the old people, isn't it? It's because yeah. they can just find the beat and then they sing to it. Maybe it's uh, rock and roll's dead. Don't say that, Dave. Um, what about... Um, well, it's not dead, because we've, we've got it forever, haven't we? Oh, yeah, We've yeah. got the best stuff. Yeah. yeah. I can't imagine a band coming up now, even like Oasis, you know, uh, yeah, the Oasis was 26 I know, years ago. It's madness, isn't it? Doesn't time fly, eh? Green Day. They're about the same. Yeah. Um, Foo Fires. They're good. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, most songs today, I feel, I feel like modern songs, they they don't have, like, one artist. It's always, like, featuring someone. It's always, like, a co- yeah, collaboration of some kind. It's because most of the time they'll do, I'll just, they'll be one artist. They do one really good song. The rest are a bit whack. What? <laughs> and then they would get there'd be a small artist be like, oh he's not been doing good weight lately let me try get him on my song to get people see it be like Ooh, oh he's, right, he's yeah. on it that that might get my uh my like popularity up so they just see big name that used to do a good song was like pop, pop him on my team uh, yeah let's get song. usher in yeah or someone like that yeah. let's, let's get um uh, jason derulo in <laughs> yeah just to do a line and you'd be happy. not not a drug, not drugs, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. a singer line. I mean, yeah, yeah. They just do it to get the get noticed, pretty much. Yeah, look at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems to be a lot of that, though. I think social media has mm. got a lot to explain because you, you get a lot of people. You get see pictures of them just holding money and things like it's, that. It's you, a bit. I hate people who do that though, like famous bit. But it's just we understand that you're rich. Just don't. We don't really care, though, do we? No. I, it's just a bit annoying. It's bragging much. It, do, yeah, it is. Look what I've got. Yeah, it's a, that isn't something to sort of respect and look up to. You but never, people do, though. People do. Yeah. That's, that's shallow. Because um, you never see the Beatles doing that. You never see... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Paul McCartney <laughs> with big wads of money. <laughs> yeah, you earn your money. You, you, you're privileged to be in that position. Good for you. Yeah. But, um yeah, it's unnecessary. But then you know, if if you've got um, if you've got a camera in your face twenty four seven, you're gonna run out of things to do, aren't you? Yeah. You're like, oh yeah, they've seen my cars. What can I do now? Mm. Oh, let's get some money. Let's cut my hair different. Let's. Uh, I'm a guy. I'm gonna put on mate loads Guy's of makeup. Like Mayweather, isn't it? he's always showing off. His yeah, uh, McGregor. Uh, Con- it's cheap, isn't it? What's- Conor McGregor did it yeah. as well, didn't he? Yeah. Went to this vault and just stood by his load of money, and and they, they get paid for losing. You know, so it's like, well, 
Oh, I'll get, get in the ring with somebody just to get beaten up and then uh, mm. uh, millions. Mm. I don't. Uh, you couldn't pay me any amount to be punched in the face by one of them, though, to be fair. Well, you could be. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got nothing to lose, Dave. I'm yeah. quite good looking. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Mm. Quite, <laughs> quite good looking. I shouldn't have said the word quite. Um, so, uh, we've got, uh, obviously with Fred here, we're not going to do a Pauline versus Bob, but we are going to do, uh, what time is it, Fred? Question time. Boom. Get in. Yeah. We might do a couple cause, um, just to get Fred's opinion on stuff. Yeah. Right. Just... I've got one here. Shall I do it? Yes. Here we go, go for it, Dave. Bit dark, I'm just about to see it. I know I've got a new on air light. You might've seen it on our Facebook thing. So I, I wanted it to light up. The if room. you had... You had to have plastic surgery. What would you have done? So you've got to have something done. Bum implants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bum, uh, the rivet bum is is nothing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. nothing there. Yeah, um, <laughs> that's a good one, Fred. Mind you, I, I always think about that. You think, well, you, would it feel weird when you sit on it? Oh. Bum implants, because you're not sitting on not your... Not sitting on a beach ball. Yeah. yeah. You're not <laughs> sitting on your muscles or anything, are you? So, I don't know. It'd be weird, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, weird's all right. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. I don't um, know. I feel like maybe yes. something in your arm. Like, you know, and you can fake muscle or something. <laughs> I don't know. That's a weird one. I suppose you had to have something done. Go on, Dave. I'm thinking something like a hair transplant. Oh, yeah. Because that... Countless plastic surgery. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'll have that done. If you've got to have something, I'll have that, you know. Yeah. I can't really think of yeah, anything else. We've, we've I had... suppose liposuction, if that would do any good, give me a start. I don't, I don't, I don't do anything to my face because sometimes you do one thing in your face. Not the face, not the face. Don't yeah. touch your face. Not the face. No, I know what you mean, though. You get these women who are really pretty women. They oh, do, you know, yeah. Yeah. And then they get one thing done, like a big lips or a nose thing or something like that, or eyebrows. And then they're just not they the same. Green. You're just like, mm, okay, that worked out well. Well mm. done. The thing is, once they start, they can't yeah. stop. Yeah. Because they get something else done to fix the thing that went wrong, and then it's just you. Well, not Pamela Anderson looks like these days. I ain't seen her for about 10, 15 years. So I bet she ain't stopped. Mm. I can't, yeah, that's, good. that's a good point. Victoria Principal was one, wasn't it? Who's that? She was Pam in Dallas. I think she was actually married to a plastic surgeon. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, just got to practice this one on you, love. <laughs> uh, don't like the Bride of Frankenstein, don't oh. they? Some of I was, um, you know, earlier you was talking about like weird addictions. I forgot you was talking. Oh, no, that was in a different. I was in the car. Granddad was uh, listening to an elimination. You was talking about weird addictions. Oh, like yeah. Like the program. Yeah. And there's this guy. Uh, I forgot his name, but he's American. He's He, he puts plastic surgery on to look like a Barbie doll. He's got like massive lips. He's jaw. It's it's mental. He looks. It's just. And if you see before, he looks like a like a nice looking lad. To be fair, like and he just made. Oh, just, so I know exactly weird. who you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know. I know the guy. I'm pretty sure he might have been in one of the um, Big Brothers at some point. But he was. Um, yeah, he's he's in every program about um, extreme plastic surgery and that. He's got. A, and uh, do you remember that bloke? I can't remember his name, but the bloke who was in Celebrity Big Brother. Pete Burns. No, no, no. Well, yeah, Jesus. Um, no, I'm talking about the the guy with the big fat belly, but he had... That's in, right, yeah, yeah. He yeah. had implants. He, Australian, service. wasn't he? I can't remember. I don't know. He had it like a six-pack, but he had a six-pack on a great big belly. Yeah, he had a big <laughs> belly and, and these sort of ridges. <laughs> it, it didn't make sense. He was the man behind it, though, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he invented it. He was it. sort of flogging it. He looked ridiculous. <laughs> it was so bizarre. <laughs> Took he was going to grab his top off all the time, wasn't he? He looked... Showing it off. Crazy. I bet there were people going, oh, yeah, I could get that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is extreme. And when I look at these, uh, like, a, a previous place I worked in, there's a lot of young girls in there, like 20s, and they'd all come in the next day, like, having had their eyebrows done, they look like they've been beaten up, and uh, their lips just look so painful when they're first done and that. And I just I just think, well, why? Why? And I... I don't know. I don't know where, that, where that, that comes from. I don't know how these uh, doctors get away with doing it myself. It's because I mean, they get paid a lot. Well, I know, but I mean, surely there must be some sort of medical ethic. that cause There's nothing wrong with these people, so why are you doing it? It ain't broke, don't fix yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you get people with, born with deformities, you know, like birthmarks and yeah. stuff like that, or a burns victim. 
Yeah, but that's you're, fine. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I get what you're saying, Dave. But what what the, the the comparison is is that you say I've got a birthmark on my face. I want it removed because I'm getting bullied or whatever. That's fair enough. But somebody who doesn't like their nose, say. But it's a fine nose. It's just a nose. It does its job. But you've got a hang up about it. You know. Yeah, it's... that's fine as well. Yeah, but you can have a hang up about something that is normal. The classic one is Cilla Black. Cilla Black, when she came out in 1964, her nose was horrific. <laughs> it was massive. <laughs> a horrific and nose. And they, they'd done it, and she looked. She just became Cilla Black forever. And it was a, that was a perfect example of what it should be used for. Yeah, but not to change people who are perfect anyway. Yeah, but there should be some sort of panel to, to say if they what like they, Simon Cowell, well, Sharon, no, Sharon I mean med, medical people it should be <laughs> a medical law. Like when uh, Pam Ranson first went in, and so was don't wrong, you love. So off you go. No, you can't have it done. Yeah, yeah I, but the, I agree with I know the world doesn't work that they'll way. They'll plead their well, case and say, oh, my, my boobs are really small. I get, you know, I'd get more modelling jobs if I had bigger boobs. And they're like, oh, well, no, go away. And it's like, well, they're just going to go to flipping Thailand and get it done by some guy in a muddy shack. <laughs> it's going to happen, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, do you know what I mean? They'll just find different ways to do it. But then you do get these horror stories where it is just a normal thing. I'm pretty sure uh, Kanye West's mum um, went in for like a boob job or something and she died on the table. Yeah. So I'm pr- there are horror stories like things well, like Sylvester that. Sylvester Stallone's mum. Yeah. Uh, what was her name? Well, that Bridget Nielsen. It's yeah. The amount of work she had done. It's such a shame though when you see when you see somebody that you look, like looked up at uh, when there was a star like I don't know people like Mel Gibson and things like that and then you don't see him for about ten years and then you see him and think is that is that mm. Mel Gibson like I mean I'm not saying Mel Gibson looks completely different I'm just saying, using that as an example grow old Grace for these. just grow old I mean that, that, I'm not That's saying what people do because I but I think it's I think it's people with too much money. Mm. They just write, they think, oh, what can I spend it on now? It's like these footballers have got tattoos all over their body. Like, oh, what should I do now? Oh, get me a haircut. Cost six grand just to get your haircut, like, because it's there. Do charity. Give it to charity then. Charity. Charity. I don't mind charity, but what's in it for me? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I've created a monster. I can't stand these adverts where these people come on and who are millionaires. 20 times over and ask us to donate money for these people. Well, Red Nose Day is a, is a yeah. prime example. you got Bono telling me that I need to give £3 a week for the rest of my life to to some somebody in a different country that I don't know, don't never going to meet. I'd rather give it to the old lady who lives on, on my street, really old. At least she's going to die at some point, you know, he'd stop paying. And I'm still not convinced all this money gets where it's supposed to go anyway. No, nah, well, it never ends, does it? I mean, it's always, it's always needed. The um, thing that bizarres me, sorry for interrupting. No, go on. But uh, you know the water aid thing? The wi- the thing that always annoys... The, the what? Water aid, you know, water like aid. in Africa. Oh, right, yeah, sorry. When they, when they like go... lemon, it's like lemonade, but not as fizzy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, when they go there, they video them drinking all the dirty water and stuff they're like save this child and like yeah. this I mean you don't meanwhile have to sh- the cameraman's yeah, standing there with yeah. a bottle of Evian yeah. in his pocket like yeah I know what you mean it's I understand you should like show them maybe like tell them what to do but like I've seen one I've seen some where they drink it like they show them drinking it and like wash it it's yeah that, that what they're trying to do what they're trying to say is shock you into oh my god that child's drinking dirty water I have to donate mm. I have that's that's what it is and it's not for you somebody who can think sensibly it's not for me who can who can think about it and think no I don't I'm that's not that's not something I'm, but it's for people who like nan like older people who oh. are at home and they get stuck through the door. My mother-in-law used to send, like, I was sure she she couldn't stop. A whole way, a whole way. Of course, once pension. you do it once, they get, pe- they get pestered. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Guilt to do it you again. You get your you get your name added to a list of all the charities, and then you're paying for donkeys that have lost a leg. You're paying for cat help, and you know old people need a blanket. You're old yourself. Buy yourself a blanket. Sometimes you, you know? donate your night, and they say the amount now. Just donate nineteen pounds a month. Well, I don't know where to get that figure from, but do we are we sure that that nineteen pound a month is going where it should, or does some despot dictator take 50, oh, of fifteen of it and 
give the thought that, you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I, I, I don't doubt that for a second. I mean, I, I, the worst thing, charity, what? I mean, charity is a great thing, don't get me wrong, you know. Uh, cancer research, um, you know the kids' hospitals so and all cute. that kind of stuff. It, it, it's all you know. It's 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 great, and uh, but but it's it's the ones where it's the way they do it. It's the standing in the street with a clipboard, and it's like yeah. I just want to walk from one end of the street to the other. I remember um, working in London. I used to go to lunch and walk down this straight road, and there would be about eight of them, all for the same charity as well. So you walk up, excuse me, have you got a minute? No. Have you got a minute? No. Have you got a... I hate that. I hate that. And one time I was standing outside the station waiting for a mate. And, of course, I was standing there. I wasn't moving, so I couldn't walk away. And he came over and went, excuse me, you get to talk to... And I got to listen to his old spiel, because I'm a nice bloke. I can't sort of say, go away, leave me alone. So I went through the whole spiel and I just gave him a load of fake numbers and emails and stuff. I just, I, I. The secret is not to stop walking. Mm. Once you stop walking, you've had it. Just keep your legs moving. That's all I'll tell you what do. would work if you had some uh, topless women. Yeah. <laughs> with a clipboard. <laughs> There'd be cues. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've kind of got a story. Sex cells. Like, I've kind of got a story like that as well. Uh, Quite what about c- topless women? No, 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 no I wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's steady, Fred. <laughs> was, Family show, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sense that out. Well. I was, uh, it was on December se- uh, 17th. It was like half eight. We was, um, it was my mate's, my mate's birthday. Very precise, yeah, yeah, yeah. Story, isn't it? It was, uh, it was oh, my mate's... Oh, we don't mate's... know where my birthday is, though, <laughs> do you? It was my mate's birthday. They're, they're twins, uh, Johnny, oh, race, right. What? Wait, what are their names? R- Ronnie and Chase. They're twins. Uh, g- <laughs> good mates. Good mates. Good mates. Little uh, shout out for you. Yeah, little right, shout out. Ronnie and Chase. And um, we was outside. Mac- uh, we finished our McDonald's, and we was like, "All right, we'll just wait for the buses and stuff." And um, this uh, this guy came over. Like, "Oh, can you get to quickly talk to my guy over there?" And was like, "We was all having a fun day." I was like, "Yeah, okay, let's go over." And it was um, it was this. Uh, they were doing what you were doing, but they'd done it like fun. They made you want to do it. They were like, "All right." Like they all looked happy and they looked like they actually wanted to do it. And um, they were like, all right, we've got this Christmas thing. You have to finish the word. And we was like, yeah, go on. We was all having a laugh. And like, and when, when you got one, they'll be like, oh, it's a celebration. And um, we carried on doing that. And then... They, uh, they chucked us in a van. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we found out that... Uh, and then after we'd done that, she, he was like, oh, I'll go talk to my friend over there. And then it was all it was all for like a religion, like Christianity, right. which caught us all by surprise. It was like, oh... Right, and uh, I so thought it was for sweets. Yeah, and then uh, we carried on talking. My few my other mates, they were like walking off slowly, and yeah. um, me and Ronnie, we were just we were like, oh, we can't get away from this. And um, what thing I kind of regret doing, and I feel quite bad for uh, me and my mate. Uh, she was, he was like, all right, uh, so thank you for listening. Uh, can you please tell me your name? I'll write it down. And I was my mate put. He said, my name's Mark, and uh, me knowing his name isn't actually that. I was like. All right, and then when he when he started <laughs> he set out the yeah, then he started walking. I was like, he was like, she asked, "What's your name?" I was like, "My name's Tom." And then she was like, "Oh, thank you." And then she was like, "All right, you guys can go now. Thank you very much." And then we obviously burst out laughing as we was walking. But I don't know if that was a fun story. Mark and Tom, Mark yeah, and that's Tom. the legend of Mark and Tom. She's probably listening to this. Yeah. I knew it. Yeah. I knew they was laughing at me. <laughs> yeah, you you have to though. I I remember being in London. All my mates went up London, um, in like a big group for no reason whatsoever. We didn't have tickets to anything. We didn't have anywhere to go. We just thought, well, we'll get the train up London. Yeah, and got up London. We was just milling about like no fun whatsoever. Just got really cold. And like, oh look at us. We're in Trafalgar Square. Brilliant. But, but we were sort of a target for these ch- uh, charity people. And you always have them mates that, like you, like, can't sort of say... Yeah, like, I we can't say like, no. We like, sticking our fingers up and running away. Um, when they're, they're just standing there and then they're, they're giving them the details. And, and you, well, I ain't giving them a real, real details, am I? Yeah, you just give them a load of fake details. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah, I'll tell you something about, uh, I find a bit hard to believe, is they haven't found a cure for cancer yet. Because, <laughs> Bloody hell, Dave. Yes. You know, because, uh, <laughs> Keep it light. I mean, yeah. I mean... When I was a kid, you used to get people collecting for cancer research, mm. which is sort of like early to mid sixties. Yeah, and I don't know if it's going on for twenty years before then. I don't know. Possibly, but if you'd said to them people who were collecting then, they you'll still be collecting because they haven't got a cure for it in twenty twenty one. I don't think they would have believed you. You know, because mm. 
Oh, we'll be, yeah, oh, we'll, we'll have it sorted by then. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's 60 odd years. They well, you say that, but were they still in 2089? Are they still going to be um, cure for COVID? Cure yeah. for COVID. <laughs> oh, God, I hope so. I was. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah, well, cure. cure for COVID. Yeah. yeah. What? In... Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, no. they got a cure. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hope, I hope COVID's yeah. still locking us in. This COVID's been getting to piss me off a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Yeah, I didn't mind it at first, it but now it's beginning to really get me down. Uh, it's given you know my job. I've gi- it's given me a real chance to um, sort of. This is going to sound well cheesy. Yeah. Cheese alert! Cheese <laughs> alert! It's it's ma- helped me become a better person. I must admit it has because um, I well you had a bit of improvement. Again. Oh yeah, I started from ground zero. Yeah, yeah I, I mean so. yeah, I, so. I was a horrible human being before this, and still are. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dad, everyone. Yeah. Um, no, because I work in. Uh, I'm I'm an admin for care homes, so I'm not I'm not based in a care home. I'm based in a main office, and I do photocopying, printing, all that kind of rubbish for admin stuff. Keep records. Anyway, COVID came along, and I got a chance to go into the care homes and do help in the homes. Not you know personal care or anything yeah. like that, but be in the homes and do a bit of admin in the homes, which has made me appreciate you know how other people live and what other people have to go through and, and people staff dropping off and covering shifts and uh, working Christmas Day and New Year's Day and it never stops. These people's lives don't don't stop. They carry on and um, and it's, it's a lot of hard work and I really appreciate what it takes to give somebody the opportunities to that I've got in my life and um and I I've, I've really enjoyed it and really I I do feel like it's opened my eyes and uh, I'm when I see an old lady crossing the street now I won't you know knock her over I'll yeah. I'll help her instead you know so um yeah I just uh that's one positive that I can take out of covid I've got another positive Oh go on yeah uh, I've, I'm not positive myself I'm, I'm I'm just saying one positive thing about COVID. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, not a positive test. Yeah, just yeah, to, yeah. yeah. And just you can't catch it through a microphone anyway. So you never know. You've actually. now got COVID in your ears. Yes. Um, if if COVID didn't happen, elimination podcast wouldn't be here, would it? Well, would you listen to that, Dave? At all? Go on. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was in a world of his own, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. State again, Fred. So if COVID never started, elimination podcast wouldn't be here. This is. True information. Well, it's, it's, it's yeah. Tr- it's, uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not convinced because I, I think you had mentioned doing a podcast, hadn't you? I'd mentioned it a few times, yeah. yeah I think you but mean, I, I, Whether I that was before COVID or after, I think well, it might have been we before. Were disc- we were in a queue, the queue that wouldn't have been there if it weren't for COVID. We was in a queue for that, I can't remember what, what place it was now, but we was queuing yeah, in know. the car park. I don't know the shop you mean. Yeah. It was a long queue at all. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> down by the end of the And we was discussing what we was going to be called and what we was going to do and all that. And I think that was the nugget. that If we hadn't been standing there in that car park in the rain, Queuing to get yeah, some candles. I, I think you had mentioned about doing um, a podcast before. Because we always we were always talking about sitcoms and TV and movies, and Dave loves a quiz. I like a debate. It was just it was there. The idea was there. It was just it was creating it. But yeah, I think it was done through lockdown more so. Because I can remember when I, I was, t- I was in front of you in the queue, and I, I, I had the idea of doing the uh, the knockout. Yeah. And I turned around, I said, I've got an idea for it. I think I said something like, you know, you've been going on about doing a podcast. I've got an idea for it. He said, go on in, Dave, go on in, Dave. You know yeah, you yeah, 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 <laughs> like I do. And yeah. I come out of it. The only thing we had that might go against it was um, you'd have to talk about, from round one to the final, you have to talk about the same thing about six times. Yeah, if it goes through and it wins, you've got to talk about but the same thing. But we got over that by not talking about it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> well, we did. I, I, you know what? That, that is the one surprising thing is how often we do go off off topic. Like, And, and when, I, when we go back downstairs afterwards, we're like, how did we get onto that? How did that even occur? Like, we talk about like some mate you never mentioned before that you was mates with in school. You yeah. stayed around his house and it, it, it scrambled egg. Like, how do we get to that? It's I had that one where I dropped the paint in the shop. I've forgotten all about that. <laughs> and then suddenly, it just popped back into my head. Yeah, we've literally gone from plastic surgery to cancer research. Co- it's, it's, yeah. I probably yeah, incriminate true. myself about four times in this podcast. Oh yeah, you, know? you should be well locked up by now. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I, that's what I love about it. It's so stupid. Um, I did want to mention though. I, I we don't usually mention this on the show, but I just want I, because it's it is a massive thing. When we did start this, we had no idea if it, if it would last a week. Like we we didn't know how it was going to go. Um, but but on uh, Boxing Day, we actually went over thirty thousand downloads. Which is in sixty three countries, is it now? Sixty three. Sixty three, yeah. yeah. So I, uh, that is amazing. Uh, that is the the us in a spare room <laughs> could just create something that people like, and uh, I'm really proud of it. And I'm pl- proud of you, Dave. Well, thank you very Cause much. Because you usually, you know, you know, your attention spans a little bit off on it. So, uh, you out there? You still listening? Yeah, I was just uh, <laughs> going back to imagine. Oh, yeah, go on. My, go on. Fa- yeah, my, my favourite line is, imagine there's no countries, isn't hard to do, nothing to kill or die for, and no religion too. Yeah. So imagine if there were no con- there were no borders, you know, it was just, mm. just people living in a world. Yeah. I mean, there weren't, like, England, Scotland, the people that don't get on, you know, India, Pakistan. And well, even even people in, you know, Merseyside, living one Iraq. side of the street to the other, you know, yeah, yeah. as small as that, like neighbours at war and things like that. It's, yeah, if you took all of that away, I, d- I don't... I you... took, took the religion out of Ireland. Yeah. Um. I mean, but I, what I've always said, and my belief is, and if you want to join my cult, feel free, um, <laughs> there is a... The, if you can, you can dislike... Anything that you want, you can you can um, you can dislike. I I really don't like people who smoke. I I've, I think that they're dirty. I think they smell. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I just uh, they I think they're they're less human. I really <laughs> I do. And, and you can you can dislike anyone. But they've been ostracised, else. don't they? Yeah. Oh yeah, they've been kicked outside. It's yeah, not yeah. no longer cool. Um. But um you can uh, religion football team anything you can dislike somebody who likes something else to you just don't hurt them yeah just don't you don't have to hurt them they can just have a difference of opinion that's all that's it and the world will just be a better place yeah there you go that's it. there you go i've just summed up the world yeah there you go solved it you're welcome you may say he's a dreamer but I'm not the only one. Well, you are, one. actually. I am the only one. <laughs> yeah. um, hello? 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, join me on, on um, Bob's Cult yeah. <laughs> on Facebook. <laughs> Should we do another question? You want to do another oh, question? Do yeah, question? He can't wait, can he? Dave picked that out. He can't wait to pick one out. All right, here we go. Here we go. Can you read it out, Fred? Oh, so here we go. What's the one thing you never want to do again? Ooh. Oh, never do again. Mm. I think invite you to the podcast, Fred. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> um, uh, I'm never going to shave my beard off ever again. Yeah. Uh, well, no, I, did, I made the mistake. You want it goes grey? No, I want it to go grey. I prefer grey to ginger. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I, get, I get shouted out in the street. <laughs> Ginger! <laughs> yeah. You got an answer to that question, Fred? Hmm. I, I just want to add to my answer because I look like an egg without it. Carry yeah. on. Okay. Um, it's a tough one. I don't know, because I've not done anything crazy, have I? I'm only 13. But I think... Oh, well, lucky for some. Yeah. I think uh, when I was on holiday, Dominican Republic... Um, with the lads? Yeah. <laughs> with mum and... Uh, <laughs> with dad and Katie... We was um, Katie, your sister. Yeah, Katie. The listeners won't know. Yeah, she wish- she was here. She was on here once the Christmas special. I think she was yeah. very. She poor. didn't have an opinion. Yeah, she didn't on anything. <laughs> <laughs> Go um, on. Uh, we I was in Dominican and uh, uh, my mum was smoking this grass thing. I don't. It had like a circle burning. It was burning. Anyway, it's, I was. I, I saw like, like, a, the, like a pipe yeah. thing, like the, they have in. Um, I think there's one in Bexley Eve where you can. Dude, it's like Turkish mm. kind of stuff. Go on. And I was in there and... Oh, uh, is that an illegal substance? Yeah. I don't think it was mm. in Dominican. Oh, okay. Not over there, yeah. yeah. And um, uh, It's like vape. It's like vaping. That's what it is. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, And there's, I was... Uh, I saw a helicopter. I was like, oh, mum, mum, mum. And without realising, I dropped my finger on it. And I think my whole... I think it was this one. I oh, dropped the, the whole... This one doesn't no, work uh, on podcast. My fourth finger, next to the pinky. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Your got, ring finger. Uh, got 
uh, all burnt up. I don't know how it burnt up so badly, but it like gone up to like the middle part of your finger. It it hurt a lot. Yeah. So you never want to burn your finger again? No. I mean I, that. I mean, if we're gonna go down that road, I um I don't want to cut my bum again. How's that happened then? I've got a scar on my bum. Yeah, I have. Um, got the ball. I mean, I've told this story before, but just for your ears, Fred. Everyone else, just take five. I'll just explain it to Fred. Um, I went up on the roof to get a ball back, and uh, the roof was kind of jagged, and I slid down it to go and get the ball, and it was glass. I kicked it, and my ass just landed oh. on the glass. Yeah. Oh. Um, didn't realise. Got the bus home, uh, and your dad. Uh, Michael, um, I said to him, oh, my, my leg hurts. Took my trousers down. There was blood everywhere. And uh, wasn't scared. Wasn't worried. I just thought, oh, I've cut myself. Oh, no. And then your dad came in and went, oh, my God, Dad, Dad, <laughs> Dad. And then I started to cry because I thought, oh, my God, it must be bad. Um, I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that must have made it worse. <laughs> but, yeah, so uh, fast forward three hours, um, laying on my front in a corridor with my bare arse on show. <laughs> there you go. Wow. A little story there for you. Um, I don't want that to happen again. Yeah. But then I can't imagine me going up to get a ball at any time. You never know. Yeah. I'll never go on to London again. London. Whoa, Whoa, that's a big Man. shout, Dave. Well, I've managed about the last ten years, so I think I'll. When was right. the last time you went to London? I can't remember. Long time ago. I hate the place. I'm <laughs> talking about London, the city of London. You know, you've been to the Emirates, haven't you? I think that was the last time you got a tube. Yeah, that's not quite the London though, because that's on top of North. It's like we're got South London, Peckham, and that. That's not London, is it? I'm yeah. talking about we're all the West End is Regent Street, Oxford Street, Trafalgar Square, and all that. Yeah, I mean, if I, I just if, don't like it. I, 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 yeah, I get it. I mean, but you never, you've never um, been to London. I have no, <laughs> no, but you've not for a long time. Have you had a job where you've commuted up to London? Have you? No, I mean for pleasure. I know, I know, but what? Um, I'm just, that's what I mean. People who oh, so, oh I'm going up to London. You yeah, know. I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to London. So you're never going to take wifey to the theatre or anything like that? No, I ain't. <laughs> At least, at least he's honest about it. To yeah. you, you don't have to go to London to go to the theatre. You did talk about taking her to Paris, though, didn't you? Oh. Yeah, but oh. I've got off that idea a bit. Uh, why? Uh, it doesn't warrant the cost, I don't think. What we get out of it is... It's no, 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 no. It's not what you get out of it. It's not for you. What we get out of it. No, it's not. No, it's you, it's not for you at all. It's to see how much would you pay to see wifey's face lit up by the lights on the Eiffel Tower, feeling all... Oh, oh, romantic and that. A teenage dream. Yeah. I know wifey a lot more better than you do, Robert. And I think she'd have that money spent on something else rather than looking up at a light. On well, the... don't give her the choice. <laughs> but I want to give her a choice. The money spent. I, I We're know, going. I know I can spend that money much wiser than going to Paris. On what? On giving her a better feeling, a yeah. happier moment? Yeah. I'll tell you what, she get a better feeling going there, Broadstairs, down at the Albion. She that, would. That's a hotel. She would. It's her favourite place. Yeah, but and it wouldn't cost me a grand. But she's never been day, to. You know I mean? She's never been to Paris. Well, she has. She once. has. Yeah, but not with you. It's different when you go there with somebody. You right there, Fred? Yeah, sorry, I was just. I'm <laughs> trying to do quiet. What's she doing? Moving his mic. Oh. Um, you been to Paris, Fred? No, but Katie, my sister, and Mike has uh, my dad. Just a. Yeah. Just in case. Feel, yeah, there was a bit of. Uh, Hatred behind that, wasn't there? And uh, that's it. So, um, yeah. I mean, have you, have you, apart from Dominican Republic, have you been anywhere else? Spain, Benidorm. I Benidorm. went with. Uh, it was so. It was so nice. We was in this villa. It was me, Dad, and Amy's kids. Well, Amy and her kids. Whilst we were, whilst they were together, and Katie and em, uh, Emily didn't go because it was it was weird. But they didn't go. <laughs> uh, uh, but it was, There's it was a fun. backstory there. It, it, it was fun. This villa, it was so nice. Uh, we gone to this little food place. Uh, breakfasts were so nice. Nice waffle. It was just, oh. I, I, if I'd gone there again, I'd love it. Because it had that, you know when a place has a smell and he sticks with you and then when you walk around somewhere and you're like, oh, that's it's, that Spanish yeah, that, smell. Yeah. <laughs> that's that Spanish smell. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to explain, but when you get that smell, you're like, oh, you get you get all the memories again. Yeah. 
nostalgic smell. Yeah. I'll tell you something else I hope you do. Watch you the third series of A Discovery of Wishes. It's very niche, Dave. <laughs> you watched it as well. I don't watch these shows. Oh. It's on. I don't watch it. It came regularly. Any magic we show. Watched it. Oh. We watched the first series. It's a Sky thing, I think. Fantasy. Ten parts. Oh, was it Sky or was it? Nobody cares, Dave. Hey, I don't care. But <laughs> you know when you wait for something to happen, you build up the big finale, but we got to episode 10 twice and nothing happened. And now the third series come on and a certain person wants to watch it, but we're not going to. It was absolute no. crap. <laughs> there you the, go. The discovery of witches. Don't watch it. It's garbage. What about um, from your? Uh, oh, I did a bungee jump that I, I definitely will never do again. Hmm. Definitely not. Um, yeah. Any anything else, Fred? You're never gonna do. Mm. You did and regret it. I've got a story uh, about my friend. What happened? Uh, do you want me to explain? Go for it. Cool. Yeah, so, we love uh, a story. My mate was um, uh, his name's Archie, I think it. Yeah, it's Archie. Archie. He's he's Archie. A, Hello. Is he Scottish? No. He's, uh, he's an archer. <laughs> Archie the archer. <laughs> and um, he was getting chased by one of my mates called Ethan. who was annoyed at the moment. Like he was, I think he, I don't know what he'd done, but he was annoyed. They were annoyed at each other. So Archie's like running away having a laugh, and then um, he had some. He had this. I think he had a milkshake on him. Ethan had a milkshake, and he was gonna he was gonna try to throw the liquid on the on Archie. And um, at the worst time possible, he threw it, but there was a baby in a pram <gasps> at the worst time. He he was he did it, and then this um this like, big tall fella apparently came out. I was like, "Oi, what are you doing?" And then and then Ethan he <laughs> full on he full on went down in tears. Apparently he he, he didn't he didn't know what to do. And then Archie was just <laughs> apparently he was laughing so hard. But yeah, he'd... throwing milkshake and yeah. that baby. You thought you'd never see that baby yeah. again. <laughs> I mean, listen to this voice. <laughs> he was, oh, I, I wish I was there to see it, but yeah, that's just a fun little story. Where he... A fun little story, a baby got milkshake chucked on him. That baby now is Banana Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's, uh, uh, well, <laughs> talking about incriminating. Yeah. Um, uh, Talking of great features, who mentioned it? Nobody, whatever. Diary. It's 1975. No, it's not. It, it is. is. We're now, doing 1975. Unlike 1971, this isn't a full diary. Oh. But there's enough in it to keep us going for a while. Until and, we uh, get Pauline. Pauline's got a diary, apparently, as well. We're going to find it. Yeah. So I'm gonna not going to do Mondays and Fridays. I'm going to start from Gen 1 and work my way through. Okay, okay. okay. It it's a, looks like it's big. It's bigger than the original. It's like a death diary. It, it looks is. like... Um, this is your life book. No, it's not as big as that. I am now, um, I'm not 17 anymore. I'm 20. Oh, oh he's evolved. Yeah. And uh, I'm not working for uh, Decker anymore with Mr. Cobman. I'm working for... He's dead now. I'm working in New Cross, <laughs> South East London, at a London Transport Bus Garage at New Cross. Classic. So, Late for work. <laughs> <laughs> right. January the 1st, 1975. It's a Wednesday, by the way. Oh, OK. On New Year's Eve, Fox on the Hill stays open till 4am. Blimey. Meet two birds, Jan and Glenda. Oh. Take them home. Uh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Skip the next bit. <laughs> <laughs> Go up Fox in afternoon with Wiz, see Eileen and Leslie up there. Go back to their place till 7 o'clock p.m. Go down Grove Tavern to meet Jan and Glenda, but as expected, they didn't show up. Oh. 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 And you thought you'd never see them again, Dave, but here they are. Jan and Glenda. <laughs> they didn't show up. We knew they weren't going to show up, but we've, you know... Made the effort. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know the Grove Tavern. Do you remember when we were going over Evons the other day? Yep. And that great big pub on the corner, it was all closed down. I pointed it out to you. That's yep, like, yep. That used to be uh, it's sad, as it's not just the Grove Tavern, but the amount of big sort of like pubs, landmarks. Oh, you go, you left at the Grove Tavern, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, now it's just still boarded up with rats and pigeons in. It's sad. What, drinking? It? Still drinking? <laughs> yeah. Hey. yeah, so there we go. Jan well, this, one. Your, this your first Jan one. one, Jan and Glenda. Jan, oh, Ooh, 
See what would have happened if they had have turned up. Yeah, oh, we could be talking about Jan. I could be sitting here with Jan's son, <laughs> <laughs> Robert Jan's son. <laughs> Uh, yeah, wow, okay. Well, it's all forks in the road, isn't it, your life? Forks, yeah, it is, in the road. absolutely. And if you're still alive now, you've taken the right one. That's how I see it. Yeah. 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 Well, there you go, Diary, 1975, Jan 1, mm. Dave Neal. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, I mean, we are there, really, with the uh, voting. So uh, I think I think you should go first, Fred. I think you should voting. go first, Fred. So with uh, Imagine and Oliver's Army. So... I'm going to go with Imagine and by why, John Lennon. And why is that? I don't know. I feel like it's a... I'd rather listen to that one than Oliver's Army. It's more relaxing. Like, say... I don't know. I just prefer it. Nice. The words, they're easy to learn. I feel like you could get used to them and then... I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. Had you these two songs? Had you heard these two songs before we asked you to listen to them? I remember not Oliver's Oliver's Army. I've never heard that one before. But I imagine I've heard Granddad say it. I've heard sing like a few words of it. Oh well, imagine. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Imagine yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. He, There's that little bit of drumming, isn't there? Imagine there's no other. Yeah. Imagine no Oliver. And then that comes in. It's just the yeah. I'll vote for Imagine as well. Oh, yeah. Even though I think Imagine's, um, a lot of people would have been imagined out. Yeah. It's been played to death and that. But I think it's still, I don't mind it when it comes on. If I'm in the car and it's on a, you know, Spotify playlist, it comes on, I'm happy to listen to it. Other mm. apps are available. Yeah. yeah. iTunes. I wouldn't sort of get a record on, but put Imagine on sort of thing, you know. But, but I still think it's got enough to see Oliver's Army off. Yeah, yeah I, I totally agree. Yeah, uh, it is a free zip then because uh, imagine it's just it's going to take some beating. It's beatable though. It definitely is, but it's it's definitely up there. Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, it's just one of them songs that is um, it is timeless as well, isn't it? Because everyone well, does. Yeah. Everyone does want the world to be a better place, and it does sort of. Yeah, the message is as prevalent now as it ever was. Mm. Maybe more so. Mind you, I use the word prevalent there, Fred. In context, <laughs> mark that down. Imagine no possessions, but then he gets in his Rolls Royce and goes home to the Dakota. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> his Rolex on and that. Yeah. Um, and of course, um, the inspiration for Imagine wasn't uh, his wife Yoko Ono. It was Forrest Gump, wasn't it? That's right. Of course, yeah. it was. Yeah. Um, so we know where that came from. Yeah. Um, so that's it. Free zip. Uh, Imagine John Lennon goes through, and um, Oliver's Army is out. Um, I did want to say just quickly, uh, Spotify, uh, you mentioned Spotify, Dave. Um, you can now rate uh, Elimination Podcast on Spotify. Um, so please go on there if you like us. Um, I mean, don't go on there if you don't like yeah, us. Yeah, I mean, please. do one star. Don't, yeah, you can bugger <laughs> off. But um, for, for, four and up, I think we're, we're, you know, four stars and up. Um, uh, we'd Maybe. much appreciate it. Yeah. Are you on Spotify, Fred? Yeah. Have you rated it? No, I didn't even know we could rate uh, Yes, yeah, a new thing. Yeah. New, new for 2022. <clears throat> um, so we're back. I gave it two. Three point four. I'm giving. Oh, point. Oh. Hello. Oh. No, no points. Is no. it? No. It's yeah. It's solid. Solid stars. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. Uh, imagine your land goes through. We will be back. Um, thank you, Dave, for Diary 1975. Mm -hmm. where... A whole new world opening up for me. It is new ladies on the on the horizon, uh, Fred. Absolute pleasure, son. Thank nice you. to have you here. It's been it's been good to be here. It's been good to. to Thanks for doing your research it. and uh, listening to the songs and. Uh, yeah. You know. This isn't my debut, by the way. I was in the yeah. Private Ryan up against Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, I know. Uh, you have been on here before, but it, I feel like I feel like since then you've grown like a foot. Yeah. You're becoming a bit of a young lad rather than. Where's he grown this foot? <laughs> in his shoe <laughs> uh, so um, Freddie uh, that is the end of the episode so it you're is. you're going to end the episode on three words please uh, see you later <laughs> hey.